southeast as well because we have the storms moving through 7 a.m. They're going to be in the lower Mississippi River Valley. Everything's going to be trucking eastbound as we head into the afternoon and into the evening hours. Unfortunately for that rush home, it's going to be tough anywhere from the southern Appalachians down to Atlanta, Montgomery and into New Orleans as well. Here's a look at Birmingham. Those storms are going to be into you this morning. It looks like around just after the 630 hour is when we're going to get some of those storms in the northeast. You are going to see more showers, so anticipate that rain to pick up as we head through the day. It's going to be off and on and then it gets deeper into New England as we head more towards the evening hours and we could see some of that frozen stuff into the higher elevations. DC, it looks pretty unsettled for you all day, but at least it's on the warm side. There you go, Steph. Dollar Center, it's Wake Up With Al with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Good morning. It's Friday, April 4th, 2014. Welcome to Wake Up With Al. Reynolds Wolf is in for Al this morning. That's right. We're here live in New York City, but we're watching things coast to coast, especially in the eastern third of the country. Things getting pretty nasty Let's out there. Let's get right to it here and show you where the severe weather was this time yesterday. Denton, Texas, they had up to baseball, even softball size hail. Baseball size hail is two and three quarters. And look at it bouncing off the ground. Such force that it was thrown to the ground with making huge bounces there. But, you know, there's more to it than that because they had got us going to 82 miles per hour, reports of downed trees. Oh my gosh. That sound crazy. is not good. And by the way, golf ball size hail is when the car can get dented. And I think that that car uh, might have a few nicks in it. It's going to look a little bit different after the system than it did before. But let's show you the latest that's happening right now. And let me tell you, it is a jumbled mess near Nashville. We had a live image out of there with Reagan and Medgie a little bit. We're going to see her in just a few moments. Rain moving through, some of it very heavy, George Franklin. Yeah, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning. That means you're going to have a hail at least an inch in diameter and those winds gusting up to 50 miles and at 58 miles an hour. And Nashville, I mean, this is coming right into you. So it's just a matter of minutes really before it gets in. No question. You know, we follow the line farther south. Storm systems as well, so you can see storms fire up along those. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's very similar to what we saw yesterday near St. Louis, Stephanie, mm -hmm. and the components are there too. Warm, moist air coming in from the Gulf, the uh, low you mentioned, the front, and look at the result. We do have a couple tornado watches here right in the center of our screen. That means conditions are favorable for the development of tornadoes. Otherwise, we had severe thunderstorm watches in yellow. Exactly. You know, the fun continues for tonight and tomorrow. When I say fun, I say that in jest because it could get very rough from Montgomery to Atlanta, even towards Charlotte. Yeah, it could. So here's a quick look at Atlanta and our our showers and storms are going to continue, it looks like, into the evening hours. Yeah, better stuff as we get into the weekend. But for now, this morning's cleanup is underway after severe storms rolled through the country's heartland. Eight reported tornadoes yesterday, one of those just outside of St. Louis, an EF1. And Scott Newell has more on that. Scott, first let's talk about the damage that this EF1 caused in University City. 